Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, it's Princess Ready here and I am showing you guys how I got this awesome bomb heatless blowout. But before we get into this video, um, I do have to address something that has been heavy on my heart. Um, and I do want to address the thing that's been going on in our country here in the United States. And a lot of my, my brothers and sisters are hurting and I am hurting as well. And I would be lying if I said, you know, I'm not upset or um, furious about everything that's going on. But at the same time, um, I want to offer some encouragement that there's hope in Christ. Um, he said that he knows the plans for us, plans to prosper us and never to harm us, right? Plans to give us a future and an expected end. God is still in the midst of it. And we just have to continue to pray and seek him in addition to everything else. But we need to pray first. Prayer should be the number one thing that we resort to. And then we can sign those petitions and do those donations and whatever it is that God is leading us to do um, in this fight, because it is a fight um, for us to have freedom, for us to um, be treated as equal um, at the very least, you know? And um, I've been battling like back and forth with like crying and being upset and, you know, trying to understand things that are going on. And um, I just, I just want to encourage everyone that, you know, even if you are in a place that you don't know what to do, um, I want to encourage you that God is in the center of it all. And just put your hope in him and continue to rely on him. And he will um, intervene in this situation. He will be the one that is going to bring uh, racial reconciliation to each and every one of us. And um, don't lose hope. Right. The most important thing is for us to not lose hope, because if we lose hope, then what are we fighting for? Like, what is the point? So I just want to encourage every single one of you guys um, who are impacted by this, all humans at the end of the day. So everyone is impacted by this. Even if you think you're not, you're lying to yourself. This impacts everyone. Um, and I just want to encourage you guys to keep hope alive. OK, um, so now I'm going to get into this video of how I did my hair um, without heat. I got a heatless blowout and I know a lot of you guys have been asking, there's minimal product in my hair and it is huge. My hair is so big, I did not remember I had this much hair. I recently got the Myel Organics um, rice water line. Finally came, I ordered it May 9th. But it came, um, was shipped out on the 22nd and it came yesterday, the 29th. My gosh, packaging. Yes, packaging. Ooh. And this is like on the box itself. So I'm just... The rice water clay mask, which um, it detoxifies it detoxifies your hair and body. So I'm definitely hair only. Um, I'm actually gonna use my spray bottle and just do it so I can show you guys that first. And then when I come back, after rinsing it out, I'm gonna use their moisturizing milk, um, which is excellent for length retention. And I'm guessing this entire line is meant for length retention because that's what the rice water trend was about. The split end therapy, which you would use massage and apply product from root to tip. Shin apply to ends of hair, uh, place a plastic cap on the head and leave on for 10 minutes. Rinse and proceed with shampooing. What I'm gonna do right now is Focus on the clay mask. Then I'm gonna come back and put on the rice, uh, the rice water moisturizing milk. And I'm gonna do a heatless blowout with this product. I don't know how it's gonna work. Hopefully it hydrates my hair. And then I'm also gonna go in and put this oil. Um, this, I think it's like a serum on the ends. So pray for your girl, pray. Did a random length check and my hair is back. Ah! So my hair go, yes. Man, I feel so bad. Look at this. Oh my God. I opened this yesterday and I was just like, this consistency is crazy. 
by the way it smells really good but it's kind of like a um like a nice cream like butter like i don't know i kind of wish this wasn't a clay mask and this was like one of their leave-in products like that's how nice it feels oh it feels so good so i'm gonna use a generous amount because this is supposed to cleanse my hair so i want to make sure i'm putting it all over okay i have tested clay masks before um i've used my bentonite clay mask of course you guys know and i actually recorded a video uh comparing my bentonite clay mask to the um i think it was the cream of nature uh charcoal and uh bentonite char charcoal you're gonna see i have the video i'm gonna link it up here so you guys can reference it but this is really reminding me of the cream of nature uh mask it just smells a little different i'm already using a lot because i'm like i don't know what this is doing but just in case i think i'm gonna add more water i think it doesn't need to be damp i think your hair needs to be dripping wet because it makes me feel like I need to use so much product and maybe I do maybe I don't I don't know but I definitely want to make sure I'm using it the right way this is how much I've used so far and I'm scared because it's only an eight ounce jar <laughs> so like I don't know says to cover your hair with a cap the other clay masks you're not supposed to do that you're supposed to just let it be but I do realize that my hair even though this clay is drying on my hair like my hair doesn't feel dry so my hair's a bit tricky in the front it's a different texture so I'm gonna have to add some more I usually always have to add more product to it so I love that I could detangle my hair while putting this in. Oh, Y'all know how I feel about detangling products that are not necessarily detangling products, but... So I also like to make sure that I put it on the roots, right by where my center part is. Because I do my center parts a lot. Excuse me, I'm not that heavy. So this was the moment I realized I hit pan. So like that is right now the bottom. So you see my hand moving right in the middle over there. It says that you should use this twice a month. So I'm thinking this is one month's worth. Then again, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting. I paid $5. I paid $5 for each product. Okay, so we're going to put on our plastic cap. For 15 to 20 minutes and we'll see what happens afterwards so this is my hair to the side and my hair in the back looks defined looks shrunken up it's definitely not hard So I'm back. This is what my hair is looking like after I finished um, basically washing it. And I had it air dry for a little bit. Not purposely, but because, you know, I was getting ready and stuff, putting on something else. So um, right now, I have um, a microfiber towel that I'm going to put on my hair. And this towel is going to help me um, get rid of a lot of the water that's still in my hair. to go out. <laughs> Um, and I'm using these new Myel Organics products. I've never tried the milk before. I've never tried the split end therapy before. But um, I already know how to do the heatless blowout. So it shouldn't matter what product I'm using. It should still work. Um, the process is still basically the same. You just need a moisturizer. Um, and you just work with that. 
but make sure that your hair is not super duper wet but also you don't want your hair to be too dry because um that can affect just how much shrinkage you have because my hair as it dries up it gets more and more shrunken so you want to make sure it's still a little damp okay and then you can always spray your hair if you need to so my hair is pretty damp hmm is it defined i had um got to be glue the gel right here so like yeah it cleansed my hair feels really good smells amazing so do i think it worked i think it's okay i think it's fine but they're the first ones i found i'm gonna use this one it is a knockoff for that um easy detangler brush that you guys see on instagram it's basically the ones with the combs that separate yeah and then this is my rat tail comb which I'm gonna use to help me part my hair. This moisture milk, and I'm gonna put this split end therapy on my hair as well. I'm gonna use it the way you would use an oil. Um, this, the first ingredient is water, the second ingredient is collagen. I actually wanna see what it looks like, but let's start with this first. It smells really good. I think this has like a floral scent in it that's causing me to react this way. Wow, second ingredient is coconut oil, that's fun. You're going to put your product on your hair, and you're going to work the product in as much as you can. You want to really detangle this hair, and I know it looks like I'm doing it rough, but I'm really not. And then I'm putting the rest away. And then the same thing, basically. You want to stretch it out and this really makes the difference because if like I was doing a braid out I would just let my hair be and then just start braiding because like I would keep these I basically want to keep those curls but because I don't want to keep it I am stretching this hair as I go but I'm also getting rid of like shed hair I'm also like finger detangling as I go along all that fun stuff and then of course, you're going to work the product through. It's a decent consistency. Like, you know, I like it. See that? It's pretty good. Okay. Do you see that? Wow. Moisturizing my hair and allowing my curls to flourish. Okay. All I have to do is put... <laughs> What's it called? Eco-Styler gel or some type of gel. But no, not doing it. Not doing it. It's a blowout video. All right, so again, we're starting from the ends. Brush, 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 brush. And you want to keep brushing it until your hair doesn't shrink up as much as it did before. And you see how I'm holding it in different sections just to promote that stretch. Basically, all of your hair is being stretched. Don't twirl it. What your hair should look like, I am going to finish the rest of my hair and then I'll come back to show you guys what I'm working with. Faithful to continue to provide for his children. So, 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 you're going to have to get used to living comfortably uncomfortable. You're going to have to get used to being in conversations where you don't know much about the topic. Oh, you do not know. It happened to me. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's going to take you putting yourselves in experiences that are completely uncomfortable to find out something new.
Thank you so much for watching my video. Again, remember to keep hope alive. At the end of the day, God is in control. He knows all, he sees all, and he is working on our behalf. We might not see the results when we wanna see it, but I know that God is working on our behalf. Um, and this is something that is not just for black people, not just for us, you know, but it's for everyone to have peace, to have um, open space where we can all communicate on the same level, you know, and be treated as equal. That is the ultimate goal, like to be treated as equal. Um, Cause we are, like we're all human at the end of the day. And we should be on the same uh, level playing field at this point, especially with a pandemic that's going on. It's life or death right now. And <sighs> that's not how I wanted to end this video, but um, I just wanna encourage you guys once again, to remember to stay hopeful remember to trust in god um because he is the only one that can really uh bring about change in this situation so be blessed remember always to spread love and to stay beautiful inside and out we're created in his image at the end of the day so enjoy the rest of your day guys i love you and keep hope alive you